Hey, what's up to all my crypto fans out there? Uh, my name is Casey. You're tuning in to HowToPlayStock.com. Um, I wanted to cover Ethereum because nobody's paying attention to it right now. Everybody's focused on this Bitcoin hard fork. All right. It's August 1st, 2017 at 2.38 p.m. And Ethereum at the, at the current moment is taking off. Okay. Um... As of yesterday, it was roughly 198 to it, it fluctuated in between 198 to 208 dollars. Today, we're at 229 dollars and 30 cents. And if you look at the chart here, um, I'll go down to the relative strength index. I've said in previous videos, and if you if you don't know this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I explain it to you. The relative strength index is something you want to look at when you're looking at charts, okay? And the relative strength index right now sits around 51.79, which tells me that we're looking at uh, possible prices of Ethereum going up, uh, say over the next, I don't know, two, three, four days, you know, I, I'm not going to make any predictions here as far as the price because I don't know exactly where the price is going to go. But if you look at the relative strength index and then you look at the uh, the moving average, this red line right here, if you follow my cursor, that is the 200-day moving average. The uh, blue line is the 50-day moving average. And if we go back... Um, I'll just show you real quick. The crossover. There's something called a 200-day moving average crossover or a 50-day moving average crossover. What that means, if you're looking at this chart, the uh, when the 50-day moving average, the blue line that you see in my cursor, when that crosses under the 200-day moving average, normally what you're going to get is a downtrend in the price. Okay, and you can see it right here. The blue line crossed over the red line, which is the 200-day moving average. That's the red line. The blue line crossed under that, and you had a strong downward trend from about June 26th all the way over to July 24th or July 25th. Okay. Now, if you look at the chart, when it, what ended up happening is the 50-day moving average has crossed back over on top of the 200-day moving average. So what you'll get when that happens, it normally, and I say normally because you cannot predict you know, what markets are going to do, but I'd say probably 85-90% of the time when the 50-day moving average crosses back over the 200-day moving average, which is this red line right here. When it crosses back over, normally what you're going to get is a strong uptrend. Okay, And if you look at the relative strength index, which was down here, you know where my cursor is? Look at the blue line. Okay, The blue line is the 50-day moving average, right? So you look at the blue line, it's, it's under the 200-day moving average, which creates that downtrend. But if you look at the relative strength index, it's fairly low. Now, how do I know this? Because if you look at technical analysis, uh, normally your relative strength index, if you've got a strong downtrend, you're going to see the relative strength index, you know, anywhere between like 10 on into the 40 range. And that'll tell you that the, the price of your asset is in oversold territory, okay? So that means that a lot of people are selling that asset at the current moment, which, which should tell you, you do not, uh, you don't want to sell, okay? And instead of selling, you want to buy, 
That's a buying opportunity because it tells you that the asset has lost a lot of value and you know, you're looking at discounted prices. So when the, the relative strength index is between, say, like 10 and 40, maybe even 50, okay, just depends on what you want to do and how you're feeling at the current moment as a day trader, when it's around that area, you want to buy. And I can tell you right now, the relative strength index as of July 28th was 41.35, okay, Today is August 1st, and we're at 51.57 or 51 point, you know, 196, 1996, somewhere around in there. So we'll just say 51 points on the relative strength index. That means it's going up, okay? It's broke that 40, 40 point mark, and if you look at the green candlesticks, it's went from roughly $199.18 at its peak it was at you know close to 230 or 228 dollars that's just in one day one day guys so what this tells me right now is that because the 50 day moving average has moved back over the 200 day moving average and you got a relative strength index over 40 look out because ethereum i believe you know and, and this is just based off technical analysis i could be wrong here but i believe and this is just my opinion looking on looking at the charts ethereum over the next i'd say five or six days you're going to see some strong upward movement in the price so if you're looking to get in on on ethereum now would be the time Again, right now I'm shooting this video on August 1st at 2.45 p.m. I'm not going to release this video, so if you're watching this, it's the next day. Okay? So the price has probably changed since I shot this video. But what I'm going to tell you right now, if you're watching this video, there's still time for you to get in on Ethereum and make some, uh, some good profits on a strong upward trend that I believe could carry out for say the next four or five days at least um anyways i just want to shoot this video because everybody's paying attention to the the bitcoin hard fork right now with bitcoin cash and nobody's really paying attention to ethereum okay it had a nice write up you know as you can see back here from like may 18th all the way into uh june 12th june 13th time frame and since then, it's been on a on a downhill, you know, a down downward spiral. So a lot of people haven't been talking about it, and if they have, they've been talking negative, which is good, because that tells you if you're a, if you're a true day trader or a true investor and you want to make some serious profits, that tells you you should buy. But when do you buy? And that's what this video is about is it's kind of pointing out right now that I think Ethereum is a right now at this current moment is a great buying opportunity. With that said, you guys have a great day and remember, income is the outcome. You're tuning in to howtoplaystock.com. These are today's investing investing tips and I will talk to you guys later.